Hi, this is Prios with an insane Phil Ivy moment. Enjoy the hand. Two players playing for the million dollars first place money. $600,000 to the runner-up. Chip count now just about four to one in the favor of Phil Ivy. Paul Jackson, however, has breached that magic million chip mark. And were he to double through, we'd be looking at a real horse race here. Well, it's such a different game. Two-handed here. On the flop. A pair of jacks and a seven. Jackson decided to limp in with 6-5 off. Ivy raised it up with queen-8 suited and Jackson made the call preflop. The flop brings two jacks and a 7 with a possible flush draw. Let's see how action is developing. Standard is to make the continuation bet in Ivy's spot as the flop favors his range as it is more likely he made a jack than his opponent the way the action went down preflop. Ivy's still the leader with that queen eight suited. Three hearts out there for him. 80,000 is the bet. And that's a pretty standard poker play, Barry. The big stack on a flop like this in an unraised pot wants to keep making tester bets. If I got the action correct, it is not unraised. Pretty sure the moderator is mistaken about that. Try to find out if the little guy connected in any way. And with that kind of flop, it looks unlikely. So Phil Ivey says, okay, I've got queen high, but I'll take a stab at it. And look at this! Re-raised by Jackson. Wow. The amateur decides to make a move with basically nothing, putting Ivy to the test. I like that move a lot more if you got at least some backup equity like a gut shot. You also don't want to play mind games with a guy like Phil Ivy, who might exactly identify what you are trying to do to 170,000. Now, I, I like the play because Paul Jackson is willing to get into a poker match here. He's not going to just sit around and wait to flop the nuts. This may be the line in the sand here for Paul Jackson. Phil Ivey, though, if he really thinks deeply about this, might be asking himself, well, now wait a minute. If this guy had a jack in his hand, would he re-raise me here? Probably not. So what the heck is he doing? So he's thinking it, and the question is, wow. overthink it. A re-raise! Well, there you are. Re-raises to 320,000. It's right back in the face of Paul Jackson. Ivy exactly sees what's going on and makes a flop 3-bet, recognizing that his opponent most likely makes a move and that this board is favoring his, his range. That should ha end the hand, I guess. We are watching some poker here, Barry. Both guys with nothing. Phil Ivey's nothing is a little bit better than Paul Jackson's, but <laughs> nobody connected with that flop, and here they are, raise, re-raise, re-raise. Nice. Oh my goodness, Jackson <laughs> is re-raising. What the heck is going on here? Re-raising. Another 150,000, now it's up to 470. Almost a million chips in this pot now. Wow, Jackson clicking it back. What a gutsy play. Jackson is definitely not intimidated by Ivy and takes it to the next level. He knows that Ivy knows that he most likely doesn't connect it with his flop and therefore could make a 3-bet with absolute air and therefore takes it one step further and is making another re-raise. This now is a contest on who is going to blink first. In Ivy's shoes, I would most likely let it go as I don't expect many amateur players to bluff forward me on the flop. Let's see what Ivy decides to do. This is incredible. And you can almost hear the wheels turning in the head of Phil Ivy. Is this for real? Right, and, and I'm thinking Phil Ivy <laughs> has got to fold here. Yeah. I mean, is his opponent going to raise him twice with nothing? After Phil Ivey has shown strength? How much do you have left? 360. 
Three items. 360, three items. 380,000 is what Jackson finally arrives at. Barry, let's put this in perspective. We're looking at a million chip pot, and both players have nothing. We are looking at two guys bluffing with nothing. Both of them. Who's going to blink? With two cards to come. I don't think he's going to blink. I don't see how he can possibly continue in this hand. Everything Paul Jackson has done. All in. What? <laughs> wow. That's what I call a classic Phil Ivy move. He might not be the most well-educated player in the world, but he is the guy who is making world-class reads and who has the balls to follow through. Ivy shoves all in, in a spot where his opponent is committed with everything decent, going with his initial read. He would look so dumb if he's wrong, but he seems to be right most of the time when he does plays like this. <laughs> That's why we're here and they're there. Absolutely astonishing poker. What was point thinking is He said it was a good lay down and he's gonna do just that and Phil Ivy is the guy who did not blink. Watching this hand was like witnessing great art. It's absurd and wonderful at the same time. This was really impressive. I wouldn't be able to pull the trigger after I got forward on the flop. This is definitely one of the most impressive hands I have ever seen in my life. You don't really often see a forward bluff on the flop followed by a 5-bet all-in bluff. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please also subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my, further, my future videos. Bye.